Hello guys and welcome to my uh, ninth uh, beginner Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you three uh, new functions to be used when dealing with time um, they're all very simple so I'm going to show you them really quickly uh, first of all you've got equals hour uh, which takes a time value uh, and gives you the hour of the day it is um, and it gives it to you as a 24 hour time so this one here is 1500 so it gives you 15 um, very simple formula next formula we've got is minute exactly the same give it a time uh, and it will tell you what minute of the hour it is um, if you want to take that to another step um, and say what a minute uh, of day it is um, then you'd simply go equals the hour times 60 plus the minute um, and so enter uh, and that will give you how many minutes there have been so far in the day um, so if it's one o'clock uh, well, we're quarter past one, um, say. Uh, let's just chuck another one in here. Um, let's not put it there, let's stick it at the bottom. Uh, so, oh, 100 hours, no seconds. Um, that would give us 60. Uh, or if we were to put it as 1.15 in the morning, uh, a time you probably wouldn't want to see um, without uh, a few beverages in you uh, and then that gives you 75 minutes so that's a quite a nifty little one to give you the, the minutes passed so far in that day um, and then seconds so uh, this is just equals second uh, not seconds um, and select the time and these are all just going to be zero because I haven't put any times on uh, seconds on them. If I put a second on this one, yeah, let's see it say five. Um, and let's say we want to increase this formula to second of day past. Let's make it actually make sense. Um, it's a little bit big for a field. You probably wouldn't want that that big, but that's going to be. Um, a little bit more um, so you're going to take the minutes of the day so equals minutes of day uh, times 60 uh, plus the seconds and then this gives you a huge number of seconds um, and so that's just come up then um, 4500 you've got 75 minutes times it by 60 um, let's just do it as a simple calculation uh, 4500 cool so we know that that's working out right there um, you could go direct so uh, at the moment um, and this is a nifty trick if you click in the cell and press F2 it'll tell you which cells it's basing it off of um, so that's nice and useful so we're basing it off of M2 but M2 is a formula as well so what we could just do is go into M2 take that formula go into O2 and switch out M2 completely let's put it in brackets so that we know we're getting the, the right uh, order and just paste that and then that um, I'll copy it down you can't see it doing anything because it's exactly the same formula um, and people name these various things uh, some people like to call them super formulas um, nested formulas generally they're useful for saving space um, they, they're not useful in that generally other people can't understand what you've done um, or if you're like me and you come back to a spreadsheet a year later uh, and you look for it and you think what 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 the hell are these formulas uh, what have I done so it's better to if they're really long um, to, to, sp to split them out into more than one cell 
so you can follow the audit trail. Um, but if you want just one column, then make them make them all in into one chain. Um, and believe you and me, this this is a small formula. Um, once you've got a few lines down, then that's when you need to start considering oh, maybe this is a little bit too big. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it for date and time. Um, I th uh, so uh, the only other things I wanted to show you uh, were a couple of nifty little formulas. Um, I'll go back into this sheet for this. So uh, let's just put time date. Um, and for today's date, there's a really quick thing you can do. Just press Control and semicolon, and it gives you today's date. Um, and my Skype's crashed. Um, not a problem. Um, I'm sure the last thing you want to do is uh, watch me talk to someone on Skype. Um, and that just gives you the day's date. So Control semicolon um, in case I distracted you with my Skype talking. The other way to do it is equals today. Now this is a really good way of doing things um, because if I open this spreadsheet up tomorrow um, then it's going to say the 30th of April. Uh, if I open this spreadsheet up two days time um, it's going to show the 1st of May uh, and well you get the idea it shows the actual date um, of when it's been loaded up. One important note it's based off of your computer system clock so if your system's clock's wrong then this will be wrong um, it doesn't connect to the internet or anything like that it's, it's based off of your system time uh, which can cause you problems if people don't have their system time set up. Um, also the time uh, if you go equals now um, that gives you the date uh, and the time um, and then you can format this cell if you want um, to just the time uh, and that'll give you just the time um, or you can do it to just the date and it will give you the date um, but for that I would suggest putting equals today if you only want the date uh, just because the value uh, of this one for the time is is going to include the time the time value um, if we go to general you can see it's 0 0.6833 um, and that's because it's this many days and then because it's up around about nine o'clock where I am day's nearly finished um, and so it's 0 0.86 of a day um, and that's how it records time so time is done in exactly the same way as um, as uh, the the date. It's just it's a decimal p fraction rather than um, a full a full number. Um, so that's it for time and dates now. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.